Hey YouTube, this is the Mime Chef and welcome to part two of Jobs of the Future. Today's installment is all about the Rag and Bone Man. When I was a child, the Rag and Bone Man used to come round and mainly collect scrap metal because that's what was worth money in those days. But originally the Rag and Bone Man collected rags, old fabrics, Whatever was left over, this would be turned into stuffing for furniture, mattresses and the like. Well, in the future, and even now, people collect, you know, Goodwill collect old clothes and what's resellable is resold. Some of it's sent abroad to be sold in throughout the world, in third world countries and whatever's not salvageable is then shredded and turned into yep, your mattresses and stuffing for certain reupholstery jobs <clears throat> wadding and the like and also cloths for movers in fact I've got one in the back here there it is, a moving cloth that's just old clothes shredded down sound insulation, lots of different uses for rags but in the future the rag and bone man is going to come back and he's going to be collecting your rags and probably selling the clothes on to other people and, and all those things I've just mentioned he might not be driving around, he might be coming around with a horse and cart like they used to do in the old days or he might be just pushing a cart he doesn't have a horse because feeding a horse is expensive <coughs> looking after a horse is expensive okay what else have we got You're still still collecting scrap metal lots of uses for scrap metal you're probably collecting wood because we've got to heat our houses somehow haven't we or re reusing for building materials Lots of uses for this stuff, building pens, building fences, kindling, lots of, lots of uses for old wood if the shit hits the fan. And then the rag and bone man, he used to collect bones and these would be used to be boiled up to make glue or they would be crushed up to make fertiliser as in bone meal. So the rag and bone man is going to be coming around and shouting, Rag and bones! Rag and bones! And you'll collect your stuff you don't want. That's if you don't want your bones to make your own fertilizer <laughs> or boil. I mean, once you've boiled, boiled it up to make some soup, um, yeah, I think most people in the old days, if there wasn't the rag and bone man, would have just thrown it out in the backyard. I certainly find a lot of bones out in my yard, <coughs> from along with lots of other trash, which one day probably people will collect. So there you go. Possible job for you in the future. Go around, collect everybody's trash, and then sell it on for profit. Something that we see going on around the world with people picking through other people's garbage for value. Okay, so I'm Chef saying goodbye for now.